Chapter 8, Lesson 8, Solutions of Inequalities. Our learning objective is you will determine whether the given value of a variable is the solution of an inequality. Essential question, how do you determine whether a number is the solution of an inequality? An inequality is a mathematical sentence that compares two expressions using the symbol less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, or not equal. These are examples of inequalities. 8 is less than 11. 9 is greater than negative 4. A is less than or equal to 50. X is greater than or equal to 3 and 2 tenths. A solution of an inequality is a value of a variable that makes the inequality true. Inequalities can have more than one solution. So for example, up there it says A is less than or equal to 50. That could be any number that is less than or equal to 50. So A could be 49, 48, or 47. Okay, so the symbol over here under math idea, it says the symbol means, uh, the symbol less than or equal to means is less than or is equal to the number. Okay, so when it has the sign and a line underneath it, that's what that means. Unlock the problem. A library has books from the Middle Ages. The books are more than 650 years old. The inequality A is greater than 650 represents the possible ages A in years of the books. Determine whether A greater than equal that meant greater than or equal to 678 or A is greater than equals 634. Okay, that's what I thought. This is a misprint in the book, so just ignore that greater than sign. Um, your book should say, determine whether A equals 678 or A equals 634 um, is the solution of the inequality and tell what the solution means. So we're going to use substitution to determine the solution. So step one, check whether A equals 678 is the solution. So you're going to write the inequality, which is right here. So they wrote A is greater than 650. Now we're going to substitute 678 for A. And then compare the value. 678 is greater than 650. The inequality is true when A equals 678. So A equals 678 is a solution. Looking at step two. Check whether A equals 634 is a solution. You're going to write the inequality. A equals, A is greater than 650. Substitute 634 for A. 634 is not greater than 650. So the equality is not, the inequality is not true when A equals 634. So A equals 634 is not a solution. The solution A equals 678 means that a book in the library from the Middle Ages could be 678 years old. Example 1. Determine whether the given value of the variable is a solution of the inequality. B is less than 3 tenths. B equals negative 2 tenths. So I wrote the equality. B is less than 3 tenths. Substitute the given value of the variable. So I have negative 2 tenths 
is less than three tenths. Negative two tenths is less than three tenths. So the inequality is true when b equals negative two tenths. So b equals negative two tenths is a solution. Look at b. This is write the inequality. Substitute the given values for the variable. So we have m equals three fifths. And we are saying that three fifths is greater than or equal to two thirds. Now, in order to do this for fractions, we need to rewrite the fractions with a common denominator. So we're going to, I know that 15 is a common denominator for three and five. So if I took three times three, that would give me nine and five times three is 15. On the right side of the um, equation, it's, we have to take two Time, or 3 times 5 gave me 15, so I have to take 2 times 5, which is 10. So we're saying that 9 fifteenths is greater than or equal to 10 fifteenths, but 9 fifteenths is not greater than or equal to 10 fifteenths, so the inequality is not true when m equals 3 fifths. So m equals 3 fifths is not sorry, right here, is not a solution. Alright, example two. An airplane can hold no more than 416 passengers. The inequality P is less than or equal to 416 represents the possible number of passengers P on the airplane where P is a whole number give two solutions of the inequality and tell what the solutions mean. Okay, so we're going to think. The solutions of the inequality are whole numbers. And the solutions of the inequalities are whole numbers less than or equal to 416. That's what that is saying. Um, so P equals 200 is a solution because 200 is less than 416. And P equals, let's say 250, is a solution because 250 is less than 416. So these solutions mean that the number of passengers on the plane could be 200 or 250. Okay, so we're just supposed to give two solutions of the inequality and tell what the solutions mean. So that's what I was doing. So those could be different numbers. It does not have to be 200 and 250. Those are just two possible solutions. Just a reminder that our objective was that we will determine whether the given value of a variable is the solution of an inequality.